As I was browsing the forums this morning or last night, I saw a uh, question come in from a user and he said, you know, hey, can I import and export tags using View Studio? So let me switch over to my VM here and let's talk about that. So what I have here is I have Factor Talk View Studio open. I'm in a machine edition application. This is the instant fizz application where they're borrowing my uh, bottling uh, animations. And um, you can see here that they have some HMI tags, right? And so what you can do is you can go up here to tag import export and you can actually export. I got to put my glasses on. You can actually export your factory talk tag database to a CSV file, right? So you just step through this. I'm going to choose machine edition because that's what I'm working on. And I'm going to use instant fizz. I'll choose the uh, MED file, right? And then I can say, where do I want to save it? I definitely want to save it to my desktop here and I'll just call it export to. Okay. And so I already, I did this earlier. I called it export. So I'll pull that up here and you can see what it looks like. Now this is a notepad, right? And in notepad, it's pretty obvious that, you know, if I want to make another digital tag, I'm gonna to have to copy this whole line and then edit what's in between the quotes. And if I'm going to do a new analog tag, I'm going to copy this line and again, edit what's there. But if you're trying to do this in Excel, which is preferred if you're going to do lots of editing, right? Let me switch over to Excel here. Then it's not so obvious that the digital tag and the analog tag has more values out here. You know, you may come over here and think, oh yeah, column P is it. You may not know about these other columns out here, right? And so what he was doing, I believe, is he was editing and adding new tags in, but forgetting that he needed values all the way out here. Either that, or when you save the Excel file, sometimes it'll try to get you not to save it as a CSV, even though it may have a CSV extension, they may try to save it as an XLS format, and then you can't re-import it. So keep that in mind. I mean, if you don't wanna edit in something like Notepad or Notepad++, um, if you're gonna edit in Excel, which is I like to do, especially if I'm doing any search and replace operations, if you have thousands and thousands of tags, you need to change maybe the shortcut name, or you need to change something about them. Um, yeah, you want to use Excel, right? But just keep in mind that you're editing a CSV file and the, everything has to be appropriate, right? You cannot like leave out values here because it won't import back in. Okay. It will definitely give you an error. Or if you de deleted like, um, you know, some of these, uh, parts here, it would not import back in. This stuff has to be included. Okay. So in any case, I think the easiest way to do this to make sure you don't make any mistakes is to actually add, you know, if you're going to be adding new tags and new folders, add some dummy ones here first and then use those and copy and paste those in Excel so you know the format is correct. But that's our tech tip for today. It's actually pretty easy to go through the utility here and export the tags, edit them either in Notepad, Notepad++ or Excel, and then come back in here and import them. And you won't get any errors uh, if you keep the format correct. And I want to wish you a very happy, safe, and healthy day. And until next time, my friends, peace.